I'll hold it. It keeps me sharper. There's violence in the street. 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 Suit of headline trivia, stunts, and scandal. Hunt of the press. Hey, look at the games on this gal. They keep going up, 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 just like the stock market, you see? To get to the bottom of this cadaver, your host, Lou. And Al. What time is it? On Tuesday? We got fucking the idio. Everybody's gonna know that I suck the mic like a BBC. <laughs> Welcome, guys. We're on fucking video. Yeah, look at that. I'm on your fucking camera. Oh, well, I'm on it. I'm on a no, camera. On no, you get screen. to see our ugly mugs, guys. If look I seem that. if I seem a little uh a little off uh, uh, this episode this week, I I am working with like a, a, a large loss of hematoman. Yeah, he lost a lot of blood. A lot of blood. The kid lost a lot of blood. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought like I was a little woozy boozy. All I can say is don't try to catch glass with your bare feet. No, no, no. no. Or human feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, fucking, we're off with a good old pun. Jeez Louise. I'll, uh, you could tell he did his hair for the video. Gave oh, it a good How wash. How look? Yeah. I got, I got yeah. put on my yeah. shirt with the best uh, pocket in the yeah, front. Oh, yeah. The finest breast pocket there. Yeah, a little dickies and a fucking mustache. You just look like a fucking, you mop floors for a living, eh? I shaved three weeks ago. Can you tell? How many keys can you fit on your chain? <laughs> uh, I don't drive anymore. But, uh, guys, I did. I, uh, I was packing a bong and, um, it was all packed and ready to go. That's why I was trying to catch it and I dropped it. And dropped it, the bowl. Yeah, I dropped the bowl. The bowl or the bong? The glass bowl. And it, I tried to do like a little shashiza with my feet, like lobster claw catch. Yeah, we and can do that now because we have video. Oh, yeah. See, see it makes it so much easier. Because so I like to do a taco with my hands. <laughs> but uh, but um, I tried to scissor fucking catch it with my feet, but it hit the ground first. And then I just stabbed the glass into my foot. Oh, you caught it. On the first bounce. Oh, yeah, I caught it. And I, caught I, it I don't know, is your, is your fucking, like, is your pancreas in your big toe? Because I've never bled like that in my life. Yeah, for sure. You hit, it, you hit your spleen. Yeah. Your big toe spleen. My big toe spleen. Oh, man, you're bleeding like a <laughs> And it was like gelatin. Apparently, my blood is motor oil. It was thick. It, it was, was very thick. thick. I cleaned it up. Yeah. I cleaned up the blood for you after I got you a hot... Uh, you know, I changed your wet clothes and put a, a towel. Yeah, on. that would I shit my pants? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. No, but, but you like, pussied out. It was like gelatin. You pussied out for like it. It probably did go like an inch and a half. Like the it was like I didn't the entire pussy out. I fucking started getting all woozy, man. I was like I tunnel vision. I, I like I, I was shaking. My heart felt like a fucking phone book in a dryer, just pounded. You had like the similar reaction to the I think it was I forget the actor, but from Black Hawk Down, the guy who got shot in his femoral artery, and they had to like tape it <laughs> off. He's like, I'm fucking cold, man. No, but, but it was like a little. That's piece how of you glass. were, and it was like I didn't say I was cold or anything, buddy. I didn't you were do anything. cold. I didn't say shit. I just sat there and sweat and shook. You didn't have to because I looked after. Yeah, you. no, you're so much more I brave a, than I put me. Put a, a yeah. towel over you. Yeah, all your all your courage comes from your. But mustache. when I picked up that fucking blood soaked sandal oh, the, the, like Lord. everything was just attached to it i didn't have to like yeah. scoop up the blood it was just le legit like you said jello yeah it was it, like it fucking was, the darkest jello i've ever seen yeah it, uh, and that blood was dark i think it wasn't that, like bright red or anything that was like deep from like the artery or something that was yeah, like, oh yeah 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 came, came, came from a dark place i, I yeah, just fucking dark I bleed poison i think that's why i can drink so much because i got thick blood and it just starts running normally. I think that's why I can drink so much and have bad circulation. My fucking hands and feet are always cold. Mm. Freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. Fucking. Uh, how long, if you owned a gun, like, like, do you think something bad would happen? I don't know. I don't know. Th those things, those types of things, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm a moron because I always think I'm always so optimistic going into it. Yeah. Oh, it never happened to me. Over, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it, it always happens. It always like bad. If I had a gun, a hundred percent. You don't even like to wait in line. I, I had brass knuckles once. Yeah. And then, um, I got a. For I, me, I got a DUI and I had to stash it. <laughs> when I say stash, I just threw it out of my car. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. well, you know, five pounds of brass. Yeah, I, I thought a like, moving vehicle. I'm sure they that's probably. They, I don't even think they looked. My thing my with vehicle. a gun is not so much shooting like another person. It's the same way I feel about like when I look off the edge of a tall building. Like I don't want to die, but I get curious about jumping. Like, like sometimes when I'm trimming my beard, I get a little crazy and I just fucking shave it all off because I get these snap decisions that are real bad ideas. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If I had a gun or it was or lived on the top floor of an apartment, would not be good for me. A gun <laughs> or the top floor. Yeah, whatever. if I had the penthouse, yeah. but I don't, I if, don't, I don't work hard enough. For what that. if you just had to drive across the bridge every day for like a commute to work? Oh, do you think you could get by that or no? Or no. like See, ten years what, in, yeah, you'd be like, yeah. fuck it. Yeah, I'd be like two years away from retirement. Just say fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh man. Just uh, uh, everyone, you just, you just you just gotta stick to the basement apartments. Which honestly, yeah. I'm a bungalow fella. Yeah, you're a bungalow guy. I'm a bungalow guy. You gotta guy. go from the basement to the bungalow, Lou. Yeah, because, like, I don't look both ways. I've already, like, before, when I cross the street, I've already been hit by a car once. Like, I'm more than likely going to be a paraplegic at some point in my life. I need to invest in bungalows. Um, yeah. That being said, Mr. Uh, Joe Rogaine and the whole uh, California crew are getting the fuck out of Tinseltown. Yeah, everyone's leaving Tinseltown. Everyone's leaving Tinseltown. And if you're not from the 30s, we're talking about Hollywood. Yeah, we're talking, we're talking about, about Hollywood, guys. California. Yeah, yeah. The state. Yeah, well, fucking the whole. Yeah, the big bear. Yeah, <laughs> the big bear. Yeah, big bear is fucking leaving, man. Everyone. I, I think that was actually one place in California that, like, people, you could find a remote place. Like, that big bear. You got to get the fuck out of there, especially when shit's hitting the fan. You can't trust a place that doesn't even have its own water supply. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's for sure. Like, really? And, like, that whole place is due for, like, a fucking earthquake, flood, hurricane. Like, the, 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 the last thing you want to d- uh, deal with during civil uh, unrest is, like, um, environmental, you know, famines yeah. and earthquakes. You know what's kind of funny? Like, when settlers came, like, all the crazy assholes stayed in Texas. They were like, I'm going to sit here and shoot rattlesnakes and do crazy Texan things. Uh, part of uh, part May. And do crazy Texas things, shoot rattlesnakes, fucking, you know, like mm-hmm. ride cowboys, try to, you know, because it was a very n- not like it was a harsh land, Texas. It's a tough land to settle. Yeah. Like everyone that had half droughts. a fucking brain just, just went to California or probably Mexico at that time. But like, you know what I mean? And now it's ironic that everyone's going back to Texas. Yeah, <laughs> going back to Texas. Going back to Texas. So uh, all, all the fucking stars are leaving Hollywood. When I say all, I just, you know. Yeah, well, know. the stars of my world, the, com- the comedian. Joe Rogan has, yeah, the comedians, right? He's got, and he's. Because Joey Diaz is going. Yeah, Coco. Coco. Yeah, cocksuckers. So, yeah, so what What the fuck then? Is, is Texas going to be the new Tinseltown? Texas isn't, no, they'll fucking, they wouldn't be able to handle that fucking. It would just be like, a, it, would, it would literally be like. I couldn't see cowboys handling that. Uh, it was cowboys. That California swagger. It was cowboys who, like, um, legitimate settled Hollywood. Cowboys, like, uh, what's his name? I thought it was the Jews. Like, before... <laughs> uh, no, you can't say that on uh, on a video podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't fucking hide... I can't hide behind my words anymore. Yeah. There's a face <laughs> attached to this. I can't... I don't like the fact that I can't hide uh, how much I drink now. Your alcoholism. Yeah. Mm, yeah, well, But it's light know. beer, right? So, like, two counts as one, I think. I don't Corona. think you were doing a good job of hiding it in the first place, so. Yeah, it's, I have, like, I have something to lean on now. That's why yeah. I, I've been slurring and stuttering and, you know, I'm doing mm. a lot of mms and ahs on the mic. Yeah, and then having, like, 30-plus amateur uh, boxing fight probably doesn't help, eh? Oh, you you start throwing fine. punches when the fucking elevator door dings, eh? You're just fucking <laughs> go time. ready to go, man. <laughs> hey, bobbing and yeah. weaving. Yeah. Floor seven, please. <laughs> Floor seven, that's seven rounds, bro. I didn't know you signed up for that. <laughs> Most people don't make it past three. Yeah, shit. Fucking um, what else is going on, bro? Um, um. You know what I was thinking the other day, and by I, I mean, we were having a little garage break, guys, practicing a little alchemy. Yeah, doing some alchemy. A little sorcery. Trying to change base metals into gold. Yeah, with fire and <laughs> fucking <laughs> cannabis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been, <laughs> we've been trying to make uh, cannabis into gold. Yeah. Yeah. I have golden thoughts. At least I think they are at that time. And then they just turned to, uh, to be a little brown poo-poos. Yeah. Little poo-poo thoughts. 
little black Jesuses. Uh oh. Huh. Little black Mohammed. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll, we'll take out the little. <laughs> well, we add, edit that out. Let go. No, I mean, fucking. And the little, the, <laughs> the prophet Muhammad. Oh, prophet Muhammad. He's a fucking. He's my prophet. But um, yeah, we 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 were we were thinking when we were a token. That like you know that movie Limitless with uh uh De Niro and fucking fucking jerk off there what's his name Bradley uh, Koopa Koopa he's a little mini Koopa uh, that like uh what happens if someone with Downs takes the Limitless <laughs> pill <laughs> do they just you know just get like like they just get a job at like a toll booth three days a week. Like what? They, they just average things. Be you, you know? They just become like you know. Yeah. Like what do you do? Start a podcast in your basement? Yeah. They pretty much just become me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like where, where, like where do you go from there? That's like I think you just you just be living. Yeah. Like, just uh, like a mediocre, you know, getting by. Yeah. Subsidized living. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. And then another thought I had is, what in the fuck? Like, why did men ever let women, um, uh, like, have this whole thing about the, the, the toilet seat and let them have that? Like, when have you ever sat down on something and not looked where you were sitting first? Ever. Yeah. And, 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 and putting down a toilet seat is so much easier than lifting up. Like, gravity does everything for you. It's just yeah. like a flick. Well, no and one just flicks a toilet seat down and unless you unless you got one of those fucking nice little. Yeah, and if you live in a shitty fucking house and you have a clanking fucking toilet seat, like then a wooden toilet seat. Yeah, then that's your prerogative, but it doesn't. You, you know just what I mean? Clank that fucker down. You, yeah, or well, whatever. But that's something I can't do. I like remember that. when I was a kid and like my dick hadn't passed my balls yet, and then I fucking I went to fucking slant like I was sitting down and it, like the seat wasn't quite all the way down, and it clipped my fucking dick in between the seat. Oh, like geez. I sat like on the head of my dick somehow between like I fucking sandwiched my dick and like the oh shit yeah it was just like an angry toilet <laughs> that's not a good shit no it was the worst shit I know. I was, uh, that was shit I was not expecting I don't know how I shit for like do you remember 19, those days when you still pissed years, on your bag <laughs> nineteen years of my life I don't know how I took shits without my cell phone yeah I don't know how I took shits like. Like, I don't know what I'd do without my father around. So I could just yell from the top of the stairs that I'm finished and he'd come wipe my ass. <laughs> 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 uh, Dad, I'm done! <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. In the middle of fucking making pasta or something. Yeah, yeah. oh, fuck, man. That was, those were the days. Did, did he wipe, it? Did he wipe it with love or was it like like a... No, angry kid? wife. It was angry an angry wife. Like, just, and just he like breathed, cleaning an animal. He'd like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly... Yeah. It was exactly like... like, like if, if there was no love. <coughs> Excuse me. There was no love in that cleaning. What's so fucking ever? And he'd like breathe heavy, like and just he'd have that like that like the near fucking face like lift down and he'd just be like, <sighs> like he'd be so disgusted and I'd be so like ashamed of myself, like and like grow. But then like after a while, I like I feel like I was getting him to do it longer than like I probably should have. And it was just like every time you yelled at me, I'm like, oh, I'll get you, so I'll get you. I'm like, Dad, <laughs> that is diarrhea. Yeah. You better get a dishcloth. <laughs> I think I think if you wipe an ass, <laughs> fuck it after like four or like three, yeah. you have every right to spank that ass if you want. Yeah, you whatever. Can you still have to wipe my <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah. So you, like, I'll take the spanking for that. Yeah, yeah. I go to old spanks keep poo. You can't spank old. a kid anymore, eh? That's not the way to do it. That's just bad parenting. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. You can't even hit a dog. My dad got yelled at. He literally had like, I don't even think it was a. Like it was like hardly a twig. You, I got a 120 pound American bulldog. You could hit that thing in the fucking head with a cement block and it wouldn't phase it. Like it's a, the, the, the tough as nails. And my dad was literally like tapping it on the ass to kind of like guide it. And some girl just freaked out on him. But you're abusing animals. What are you doing, sir? You're killing them. You're killing. What about the children? <laughs> He's yeah. like. And Georgie handled that very well and yeah. just, uh, you know, yeah, he told that fat bitch to shut the fuck up. 
That's how that story ended. He said, hey, fat bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to walk my dog here. Yeah. But my dad's like 70, and he's a little bit old school, foreign, and a lot of angry. Yeah. He it, has not, not anger, just no patience for, like, you, despite, if you knew him, you'd think he didn't like people. It's not that. He just has zero patience for stupid bullshit. Like, like that whole story that you say. He wiped your ass like an animal and was, like, angry yeah, but he still wiped my to ass. do it. But the act is so nice. Yeah. You like, there was no love wipe. involved, but, like... It's the, it's, it's the action. Yeah, 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 it's the action. Like, you didn't it's have to wipe my ass. You could have been like, you can walk around with poo bum. Mm. You can have a crusty poo bum all day. Yeah. But daddy didn't let l- little baby Lou walk around <laughs> with a crusty poo bum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yo, guys, so we, we were trying out this new thing. We were going to, uh, we, uh, like, we, we want live callers uh, to call in, but we, like, we don't even know how to fucking do that yet. So, like, you know, we're, this is, uh, this is a one step uh, at a time little program here. This is it's like sw- twelve steps, hey all. Yeah, yeah, twelve steps. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting through there. I'm I'm just calling friends right now, I'm making amends. But w- instead of having like people call in and uh, you know if they got like any guys, girls, uh, elephants, anyone's got any problems, whatever, we're here to help. Because if you if you notice the the cover of our here podcast, the psychiatrist is in. The doctor's here. Oh yeah, Doctor yeah. Lewinow. How much do you charge for that? Um, five cents. Five cents to the leader. I think <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> but I was gonna, I was gonna read, I was gonna read a couple, uh, couple conundrums people have in here in the Reddit world. The Reddit world, yeah, of their, of their get, relationships. Get, uh, personal here, and and, and, uh, and and we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can help. Because <laughs> I, I have a good feeling about this one. I think we can get some, uh, some, some good. Some good uh, uh, psychiatric psychiatric counsel. Where do, where that do being said, I got to piss like a pregnant woman, guys. So I was going to uh, find this shit. And um, it, it, well, uh, well, he's looking. He's going to hum elevator music. Okay. Well, I'll kill, the, kill that dead air time like a true professional. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought they'd want to see me reading... Um yeah, just watch me reading. That's that's now where that it is. The, that's the video is. podcast. I thought there they could enjoy is. new activities like watching me read. Yeah, Asperger's Kaufman there, man. Yeah, <laughs> Asperger's out. Kaufman without the humor. Yeah, J- just the cough. Yeah, and the ear and the irritants. This is um. So, so coughing we to, so equals we go Reddit. coffin. We go you to hear Reddit. that one? Coughing equals coffin. Wear a mask. If you see something, say something. No oh, shit. Don't, don't pass it up. Pick it up. Yeah, <laughs> only only you can start voice fire. It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, where were we here? Uh, Reddit guys. We're doing Reddit. Yeah. Reddit advice. Reddit advice. So this is from <laughs> that little fucking show. Who wouldn't want advice from these two folk? Yeah, this is from uh, u forward slash d v k n five one. And he posted this, Lou, two days ago. No need to blow his spot up, bro. Oh, no. He, he put it on a... On a like he posted it for people to comment on. And we're commenting on it. This is what the whole purpose of the fucking site, Lou. Okay. Okay. So, how do you get over the inability to comprehend a woman actually being into you? That, that was his question. And, and he goes, for instance... Uh, he read a, a comment from some guy who, who, who commented on his thread. For instance, at for the start- gym... You can act like a man. Yeah, he gets into that. We're gonna go through it and, and trying to get to the little get to know. Um, we're gonna get to know you forward slash dvkn five one. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, Alex! All right. So, in one of my recent posts, a guy commented this. For instance, at the gym, there is this girl that I wanted to get with. I approached her and said, "Hey, I see you often around here, and never wanted to disturb you during your workouts." But I was wondering if I can take you out sometime. Sounds like you just jumped out of the bushes. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> you come, even, even come out from like behind that. the leg press like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, in his uh, his fake slash real story. Um, <laughs> yeah, fucking real story. Yeah. It starts off like the next thing is bam, which I think, I don't know if that's what she said or if that's, or that's if what he's he hit her with. It's like, bam! <laughs> <laughs> bam! We didn't exchange numbers, but I got her cell phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a piece of her DNA off her left cheek. Oh, that's good, man. You can clone that in a few years. Okay, uh, so they exchanged numbers with uh, they exchanged numbers, and then now he's getting to know her. 
And he's like, to me, that whole story is like a fantasy. I'm a 30 year old fucking loser. I grew up a quiet kid for the most part. And, you know, I got bullied in grade five all the way to high school. I think that says uh, the most. Listen, man, it's crazy. Girls okay. like him, but they don't like him as like a. Yeah, but a it's thing. not like it's just it's so crazy. Like guys just got to. He doesn't comment if he's fat or anything. Well, that's a big fucking thing there. No, he doesn't t- mention his weight at yeah. all. What are your numbers, bro? <laughs> what are your numbers? Yeah. So your BMI. Yeah. Well, but that's what we have to work with, man. BMI, the he wants guy. he wants some tips, Lou. He wants some. Well, tips. Well, if you're fat as fuck, like, he's not fat. Okay. We don't know if he's fat. He just wants he wants some tips on, it's on approaching not tips. Women. It's like stop. To, like, does he need to hide behind the 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 leg no, press like I, and hit over the rock, <laughs> like the guy so. in the post? Well, we're joking, obviously. Yes, sure. I'll. But like no, I don't know, man. Like, uh, like it's, it's um, like on paper, I am a fucking nightmare. I have nothing to offer, nothing to offer. Just and, on paper. And why do like unemployed fucking bums still get laid? Like, is you're 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 thinking like just just put it in the back of your head. The best looking girl you can think of, whatever it may be, and like, however you've made her out in your head, and tell yourself before you go and talk to her, I'm better than you. I'm fucking better than you. And it's not fucking chauvinistic. It's fucking nature. It sucks. Women got a raw deal. They got to carry a baby, fucking sit down to pee, do sissy things. Like, it's just what it is. Have a period. It sucks. But, like, don't fucking build them up in your head like there's some kind of fucking national fucking secret. Like, it's some lost ark. Like, just fucking, they're people, dude. It's and just, then come at is... her with that type of confidence. Like, I, why would I even care what you would even think, you know? It's like, I don't know about that. And this is really going to fucking not... um. I'm just trying to sum up. This I'm trying to paraphrase this is, this what is, you're saying. This is not going to help, like, with the non-existent female audience that we already have. But, like, more or less what I'm saying is, like, even women would appreciate it if you didn't come at them all like, but, like, I, if I could tell you, I think you're pretty. Like, you know how, like, nice guys are always angry because, like, the, the girl that they're good friends with is like, oh, this guy's an asshole and like, that, that, that she talks about all the time and, like, he's, he's a man whore and he's all these things, but she always ends up fucking that guy. It's because they don't treat them special, and they're used to that, especially pretty girls. They're used to getting everything they want. They were born with an ATM between their legs, and they just walk around like, pow, I'm here at the party. Who wants to treat me special? Yeah. If you don't give them that little edge, they don't know what to do. Women would start walking into fucking traffic if you turned them down. Like, if women threw themselves at you and you're just like, nah, I'm good, they wouldn't know how to handle that. Every every that's date. their whole power. They don't have a fucking phase two to karate. It's just pow, show up with the pussy. And if you're just like, you're like, yeah, like I like your outfit, but your earrings look fucking stupid. Did you throw them? Like, what? Yeah. You, and then you, you, yeah, I think that's a little too harsh. We no, can't, we can't be telling just, my guy to say she looks stupid in her earrings. I said, you, 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 I love your ensemble, but these earrings, what are you doing? You you could be a ten if your if your neck was half an inch longer. There you go. I think that would be a good a good thing. Yeah, to say. no, that's good because it'll be yeah. in the fucking mirror, just <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking. You don't want to yeah. say subtle things that fuck their head up, so like you fuck them up for the next guy. I'm not saying fuck them up for the next guy. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I'm not even saying like be a dick. I'm saying be a, be a sweetheart, be kind, be all those things too. But you gotta have a little bit of arrogance. Women want a man to be submissive to. They just want to choose to be submissive to him. They want to have a guy that like I'm. A, is it, this cocksucker worth it? I do feel like if if you're kind of soft along the clothes and and then then weird it starts getting weird and creepy. Then you're like, oh, I want to fuck you, but and don't lie, like and don't lie, and don't lie. Be a hundred percent honest about what you are and what you want. Like that's a big thing too, and yeah. like that's a big thing uh, that men have let happen. What about what honest. about like the like the two month game, the three month game? Like the year game of getting to know her. That's, what, what? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's, yeah. 
What? That's crazy. What are we doing? Long That's, division? What the fuck are we talking about? Long division. We doing Louis grade six math? Like no, taking is, a fucking this year. This is this is Kumon. How many pages can you finish in, in, in <laughs> one hour? The, what a year? Yeah. What are you fucking like 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 I'm ready to wait like a week if it's like like twenty three. If you're like thirty six, you don't give me that push like right like like yeah. if you're trying to be all like, Oh, you wanna kinda like see my little aerial like, uh uh, so no. Yeah, but what if you're like Chris D'Elia and you want to wait like four weeks or oh, or, or a year? That guy's a, <laughs> she turns eighteen. That guy's a wild. That guy's a wild character. That's a wild thing to do, man. But I mean, like that's what I'm saying. Everyone has got those weird, squeaky clean uh, images. You know what I mean? Like D'Elia was kind of like this poster boy. He's like Mr. Nice Guy. He still is. Blah. It's all alleged. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying there's always something. There's always something. And, like, the perfect, like, you know, the, the, the whole Cosby thing. Like, you, no one saw that. Well, I feel like in the world, everybody knew of comedy. But Yeah, it seems weird. It's weird that that doesn't get brought up, eh? Like, like we had, we had, a, we had a, like, um, like, a, like, a pedophile at the cottage. And everyone knew. And oh, at our, 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 yeah, at our, our summer cottage. Yeah. Terp. Yeah, Terp. He's dead now, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. He probably, the amount he drank. And he was, like, pushing 70 and fucking. Yeah, I haven't talked to him. His brain was floating in the fucking scotch so i yeah. would imagine after the first time you really tried to pressure me to put on uh on uh after bite for my mosquito bites yeah like I stopped himself talking. yeah 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 <laughs> well what made it really clear for me is when he got me hammered drunk at 16 and i passed out and woke up to him rubbing my car <laughs> <laughs> and then our grandpa was just like, and i was like whoa man it's like i'm not like and literally our grandpa i wasn't worried was, like you know it's yeah. not really like you're not really molested if you could like fucking sneeze and break the guy's hip. You yeah, know what I mean, like it wasn't like really intimidating. I was at just any like, point, oh, OK, I'm going to at any point you could have told him to stop. I was passed out drunk. Al, you're right. It's my fault. <laughs> I shouldn't have been wearing those shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, you didn't I'm such even, a fucking whore. No. Yeah, exactly. You don't you don't set an alarm on your phone. <laughs> Yeah, man. Holy fuck. Or something. Is That's that okay. I just take fucking... I just roofie myself now. <clears throat> fucking beat him to the punch. That's the trick, kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's hear the, let's hear the next one. Yeah, fuck. Um, okay. Uh, this this one is from... They're all... Maybe it's you. I don't know. It, it'll, it's you forward slash... They all have forward slash. Who gives a fuck what their name is, man? It could be no, Donkey the, Balls... Fucking hops across our, the our live audience cares. Oh yeah, that, you, you ask, you ask, even, and our even, live audience cares. We haven't even addressed the live audience. Thing. I know, the, guys. And, how are you? How are you our, Don't don't wait for a response. Our live audience does not respond. That's why we're reading shit off Reddit. If our if our live audience kicked in, we wouldn't have to be reading shit off uh, Reddit. But they don't say anything. No, they try to keep it quiet. They try to keep trying to listen. Okay, so anyways, uh, u forward slash o s. Uh, R E V. Uh, what makes it hard for some of you to commit? I don't mean this in a rude way. This is a female. Uh, I'm just generally curious. Uh, oh, she says it here. I'm a 23 year old female, it's fine. It goes and the men nature. that mostly that I mostly encounter are all sorts of dudes that just desperate uh, to get off. I understand that they are in their just early stop 20s, it. Stop but it right for there. stop it right there. You don't have to read any more of that dumb bullshit. What, uh, what, what's our reason to commit? I love how it's so ch classic woman bullshit. What, what, put it all on us, hey? Eh? Put it all on us. What is your fuck? What did you do to make me commit? Become lovable. Just like, like, become lovable. Like all you do, like I said before, you show up with your pussy. You never worked on a personality, sense of humor, fucking, uh, uh, crack a joke, break the ice. Like you, you, you you're just hot. And like, it's our fault. We've let this happen. Like, I'm not hating on women. This is uh, everything I say about women is 100% men's fault. We've allowed it to happen. But like, stop it. Our fear of commitment, like, make yourself something to want to be committed to other than pretty. Like, first of all, and then second of all, it goes against our fucking nature. We, you, we, you know what? We, I, we, we don't want to like, like, we want to fuck everything that moves. And that's another thing that we should get appreciated when we don't. And we're like, hey. I'm literally fighting my nature right now because I, I like you and I'm trying to make something here and that should be recognized and it doesn't. It's just like, oh, 
that should just be how it no it's not how it is i'm literally fighting my fucking instincts because i like you but that doesn't get recognized so that answers your question silly gal yeah yeah we fucking hammered through that and uh, fucking, uh and and you know i'm glad how and this uh, is another one too for for this is just a little tip if if you're if you're eating if you're gonna eat some aged pussy <laughs> this is this is for those young cats going to eat some old monkey, you know? Treat it like tre- cougar, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Treat it treat it like uh treat it like an old scotch. You know, yeah. You waft that. You're gonna waft you that. You waft that. You wa you you waft it. You waft it. Maybe some eighteen, nineteen year old monkey you, you can jump fucking, in. Yeah. You can nose dive that like a fucking Japanese kamikaze pilot, but like, <laughs> like, and then and then what do you do after the waft if it's not satisfying? You say, waiter, I'd like this fish to be clean and brought back to the table. <laughs> no, you just say, check please, <laughs> check please, <laughs> check please. Yeah, you just get out. Check. Yeah, you don't wait for the baby that powder the and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the check. But I, I mean, like, check, but I like, it depends check. how much tequila you're. You know, you, you might your smell might be a little off, and you like the little tang. You know, you feel a little fucking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You ran out of you ran out of lemon. You do the tequila shot. You suck your pussy. It's the same oh, thing. You get through it. <laughs> God damn, that's sour. Holy cow, guys. Well, I no, we got we got one. We got we got the fucking the the old man league. I I, don't, I wouldn't call him an old man to his face. What the fuck are you coming at me, Mike? For? Mike Tyson. I wasn't cutting the fucking thing off. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were cutting shit. No, yeah, yeah, Mikey, Mikey Tyson. Yeah, Mike, Mike. Mike Tyke. The fu- I'm fucking Alexander. I'm the conqueror. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole thing. I saw his thing. He's like, yeah. He's you like started old- a new lead, yeah? Yeah, yeah. September for, 12 for fighting Roy Jones? Roy Jones, the uh, old-timer. Just old-timer watching two leagues. fucking a thousand-year-old blow up their fucking knees and to fucking get punched into a coma? Yeah, I think they have a combined age of like 104. Yeah. Who that, that's what you want to see out of a oh, sporting yeah, event. Yeah, that's awesome. But Jeff. Tyson looks like he's fucking 25. I, they better just get, like, what is it, September 12th? I don't know. Something like that. I think Tyson's a clone. Like, they got to be... Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? That, that is not a 54-year-old body. He's going to kill Roy Jones. He's going to kill him. They're both just going to get I know so Roy Jones fucked is up on, like, Anadrol and fucking D-ball and just get fucking tested out to the fucking... Ma- like, they're just going to do so much juice. Why wouldn't you? It's not like a regular... Like like commission that's gonna regulate no, I'm it. I'm pretty sure like Tyson's starting him. Tyson. Yeah, it's just gonna be oh, fucking savagery. I know, the but they're like a hundred. Why wouldn't fucking... you do steroids? They're just gonna get juiced up. It's gonna be a science experiment to Debauchery. see who can fucking get as much steroids in them and like get their cardio up. Yeah, yeah. Who and really, who age is a big factor. Like Tyson's like old. Like, He's old. He primed in like eighty eight. Like you know what I mean? Like. Uh, like, don't get me wrong. I love Mike Tyson, but it kind of makes me sad because he's going on the whole like, like 89 Tyson was going on a whole like spiritual path, man. And like he's like fucking licking toads and tripping out and smoking DMT and talking to lizard people and shit. And like, like it wasn't like I'm going to fucking eat your babies. And like Alexander anyway. and like was the like talker. it looked like he was like, you know, people were getting to see that like sweetheart side of him. And, still a, a and now he's like going back to like like wanting to like fuck people up. I don't know. It seems weird. Seems like it's like like it's just he's trying to hoodwink the game, get a little cash. It seems which like I don't blame him. But like I don't know, man. You got your weed business going. You got your podcast. Yeah. Like, why don't you just be? be ha- don't why don't you just be happy with? I profit? guess he's got babies, man. He's got babies to feed, man. Why isn't he just happy with the Prophet Muhammad and be a good Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Al. I don't know. Man. Like Cat Stevens went Muslim, and then you don't hear anything about it anymore. He's yeah. just a happy Muslim. Yeah, his music went to shit, and now you never hear about him. And just but uh, Tyson wants to be fighting. He's still fighting. Now he wears doilies on is his he fucking still, head. Is he still Muslim? Um, I think it's Muslim. Muslim. Mm-hmm. Muslim. Yeah. Musa- Musama. Whatever, man. We're not going to do this. But do what, Al? You're you got to take the fucking chip off your shoulder, buddy. I got no chips on my shoulder. Man. I don't know what the fuck. You, you woke up all kinds of fucked up. No. I poured myself a, po- like a cup of coffee. And you're like, you're take all the coffee. Oh, I'm like, who fucking in a house full of people makes, a fuck, like, makes coffee and makes two cups? A fucking asshole, that's who. Live audience, what do you think? See, we, we got them muted, but they, they all agree. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a raging fucking roar. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> the crowd goes. 
That was wild. <laughs> God damn. They need to make Corona, like, strong. Like, extra, extra. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you need. For some of these conversations. Mm-hmm. Hopefully mm-hmm. it's, uh, yeah. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I think I think uh, we covered all the talking points, Lou. Yeah. We covered uh, all the talking oh, points. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I think we should end it because... Um, I got the stove. Uh, it's a gas oven, and it's on preheat, and I'm going to go fucking stick my head in it. <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I don't think you want to burn yourself with the, 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 the oven. Holy to kill you. It's the gas. Fucking here we go. You have a gas go. stove. If there's anything the that's gas. fucking remotely funny, he'll kill it. He'll just... <laughs> I'm Mr. Literal. That doesn't add up 100%. Don't worry about the funny part. Uh, like I said, he's going to edit this already. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. Fucking shit. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> like it says he's gonna head this. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, uh, like no, no, I said, no, I think no I just exit now. I'm plugging in my computer. I think I heard the oven beep. We're we're gonna exit. Like, is it dead, Aleko? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, we're gonna exit in five minutes. Two minutes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. We, we hit all the talking points. Yeah, so all the hot topics, big the, button this issues. This is the video stuff. We're going to get better with the video. We're just figuring things out. Um, Kathy, just put the laundry anywhere. Yeah, yeah, just leave that anywhere. And uh, have, have a good uh, afternoon, night, or morning whenever you're watching this. And uh, from WBC, we'll see you later. Yeah, stay gay. Stay gay.